What's up everybody, DGTPR here, or DGTPOR, or DG for short here, <laughs> just call me DG I guess, uh, here with another unboxing video, and today is a very special one, because we got the long-awaited Sazabi version Ka. Now, first off, this box is huge, that's probably the first thing you notice in, I have to stand up very tall to get all this box in, I mean, here's my hand, small portion, portion of the box for our a real fast box comparison is this is uh, the Sanaju version Ka and you put it there and it's about about half of the Sazabi box you see and um, I believe the Sazabi or the Sanaju is just it's about the same as tall and a little more than half is long so it's longer wider everything so yeah so once again it's you know you see it's about half of that and here's the uh, Sinaji uh, version OVA version box and if you see if I put them both over there it's about the same uh, just a little bit hangs off the side so yeah so it's a big big box the the Sazabi uh, version car is uh, sorry for the dirty room that you're probably just seeing um, so you got the big big box and um i really do like the box because it stands out of course obviously because it's so big and i've always liked the version car boxes because of the white background makes it really jump out but i like it also because of this backdrop i think that makes it look real nice and intimidating and of course the green light in the eye look, makes it look uh real nice and intimidating so we'll go around here you got specification uh, numbers here and all that. You got the weapons you'll get on the side of the box. Uh, the funnels, the shield, the beam axe, and then the beam saber, and the two guns. And you got pictures of the kit, of what it'll look like, different features. Of here, of course, it's pretty standard, just like all boxes. Um. Da, 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 da. More poses it can do, and what it will look like. And so we'll open this. Oops, sorry, so I went vertical there. We'll open this baby up. I don't believe there's any tape on here. I'm uh, I'm overly excited for this kit. Uh, if you haven't known, I I meant to pre-order this kit, and I. Uh, Thought I did, but I must not have, so I had to wait, what, two weeks after it's released to finally get it here, so I can't wait. I've been seeing a lot of people online with this kit, and it was making me super jealous, so I'm finally glad it came. I didn't watch anything on it, though, because I wanted it all to be a surprise for me. I'll get that, put that big old box over there. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about this, I'm a... Uh, I'm still sick, but I'm recovering for a second. So I'll uh, start off in this panel. So it comes in sections. Okay, nice little section. So uh, we'll start over here, I guess. And you got a runner here, which looks like which looks like the head and maybe some of the shield parts. And then you got the stickers right there in the back that you won't be able to see now. Version cars usually have a ton of stickers, but this one doesn't look like it has that much. Those are uh, the dry transfers. <coughs> and then it has these stickers right there. Let's keep going. Looks like you got some inner frame for the skirt here, and which I'd assume that would be the outer frame for the skirt. <coughs> Sorry, once again, ooh, coming from a sickness, and then... Uh, some more inner frame parts here. Nice little, uh, not really metallic, I don't want to say metallic, but a nice little shiny uh, gray right there. That's pretty nice. And we got some more of that shiny gray. And more uh, inner frame parts. And then this looks like the uh, fuel tanks. Ooh, look. Look at the fuel tanks, if you can see them. Those things are, uh, 
massive. Those things are, wow. Fat little fuel tanks on this thing. I didn't think they were going to be that big. I saw in the pictures they looked, I mean, short and stubby, but I didn't think they'd be uh, that thick and round. <coughs> and then, um, some more parts. I think that's skirt parts, probably, it looks like. Some more inner frame parts. Over here. More skirt parts, it looks like. Um, there's the hands it comes with. It looks like it comes with the 3.0 type hands. And you can see under it is where the uh, cycle frame bar ball is. And you got the yellows for uh, the vents. And then you got what looks to be maybe leg parts here, maybe. Uh, shield and gun, oops, shield and gun parts. Right there. Uh, more yellow vent pieces. Uh, that looks to be the inner, or more gun parts, but that right there looks like it would be the inner chest parts. <clears throat> um, I assume this is chest pieces too, and uh, yeah, that looks like it would be chest pieces. And then you got some leg frame. It looks like I assume that's what that is. It's leg frame, and you got uh, the see-through green with the beam sabers and the uh, beam axe. And some more. And our frame parts. So, uh, then we'll quickly count out the runners as I always do. So we got one. We'll count out packages of runners and then I'll tell you how many there are. <coughs> so was, uh, I want to keep them. So, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 packages of runners, which I will count right here, real fast, we'll go right into the book, there's more on it, so you got 14 packages of runners that come into 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 runners. I think. Let me make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yep. 23 runners. So you'll have 23 runners in this kit. And so we'll go back. Um, it looks like it's going to be like most uh, version Cobb booklets comes in and that middle flap that's usually in the middle is right at the beginning. <coughs> you see it all completed. See what it'll look like. Go through the pages of course and then of course with uh, the version cause my biggest complaint with version call manuals is that it doesn't tell you what runners you'll need for what and so you just gotta go through and keep track. I hate that but you know it's not a huge deal, I've just, it's just something that would make it easier. And, uh, it's a pretty big booklet. There's a lot of pages. So there's going to be a lot to this guy. Very detailed, this kit looks like it is. And, um, so we go do, 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 do. Beam shot rifle, long rifle, shield, beam tomahawks, and beam sabers. Completion, so. Overall, there's 30, or here's where all the markings would be, and the painting and applying decals, the color chart, what it look like with all its markings. Look at, yeah, there. so there's there's more markings than I think, because I guess there's a lot of small, small markings you can see, and so those go all over, and you can see that. <coughs> so overall, there's 35 pages in this bad boy little light novel itself 
so yeah, uh, there we go. We got the unboxing once again. There's all the runners, or the packages of runner, which we counted out, and then you'll get 23 runners in all. Uh, of course, the review is going to come soon, or uh, whenever I get done uh, making this baby. Uh, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> once again. <coughs> uh, thank you guys for watching. Of course, always, I uh, hope you enjoyed this unboxing like I said I was a uh, super excited for this kit uh, Char being my favorite character in the Gundam universe I couldn't wait to get a Sazabi I never uh, I never had built a Sazabi before and I was gonna get the original one but I decided to hold off until this and I'll get the original one after and I am gonna buy the version Ka a new Gundam so I can have both of them uh, standing tall next to each other um, so I can't wait for this. It's going to be massive. I think it's going to be a huge kit. Of course, we'll have some uh, size, compares, size comparisons uh, when I come out with the review. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching once again. Uh, hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Once again, this is DGTPOR. You can, uh, you can follow me on Twitter and uh, at, on Instagram at, at DGTPOR. Uh, for those and then on Facebook I'll also have the links below in the video that you can find out and then uh, please always comment follow or please always subscribe like comment and share my videos and uh, let me know what you think guys and if you have this kit uh, let me know what you think about it or <coughs> if you have any questions and stuff ask them and I'll try to answer them in the review portion uh, once again thank you guys for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, look out for the review that will be up as soon as I finish this bad boy. Thank you guys.